A blessed day to you all my sports to the bone people. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope you're all having a productive day so far. Alright, so in this video, I just want to spend some time going through my plane 11 and batting order for the first of three ODI games between West Indies and Bangladesh. Yes, it bowls off tomorrow morning. Um, I'm also going to talk a little bit about Hetmeyer. Hetmeyer has withdrawn from the squad and his replacement has been named. So just give a listening ear until the end and let me know what you all think in the comment section. Alright, let me just give this disclaimer before I go any further. This is my playing 11 as a regular fan, right? I have no sort of connection with the selectors, the coach or the captain. This is just me being a fan, looking at the squad and saying this is the plane 11 I would work with. You can disagree by just going in the comment section and naming your plane 11. So if your favorite player is not in my team, it doesn't mean he will not play tomorrow. It does not mean that, right? Just put him in, the te in your team. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into the bit of news about Hetmeyer and then I will give you my plane 11. So CWI, they sent out some information earlier today that Sherman Hetmeyer has withdrawn from the squad due to um, illness, right? So he has withdrawn from the squad due to illness. Um, they didn't elaborate. They didn't give us any more information on that. You know, so I'm hoping it's nothing too serious. I'm hoping he can recover quickly. And, you know, as you can imagine, his family will definitely be there for him, whatever he's going through. Um, so our prayers are with Hitmeyer and we're wishing him a speedy recovery on whatever he's dealing with. Now, Alec Arthanes has been named as his replacement, right? You would remember that Arthanes was recently dropped from the ODI squad and they have decided to um, recall him in place of Hitmeyer, right? So Arthanes is now in the squad, right? So um, let me just... See if I can work my way through. Let me just remind you of his squad before I give you the plane 11. So the squad, Evan, uh, Brandon King, Evan Lewis, Casey Carty, Sheffin Rutherford, um, Alec Arthanes, Justin Greaves, Romario Shepard, Rustin Chase, Amir Jangu, Shea Hope, Alzari Joseph, Gudikish Moti, Jaden Seals, uh, Marquino Mindley, and Judaya Blades. So that is the 15-man squad that is set to take on Bangladesh. Now, you guys will probably remember that our last ODI series, we won. We won that series 2-1 against um, England. So, obviously, I'm not going to be making a lot of changes in this um, playing 11. So, we're going to go with Brandon King, obviously. He scored a century in the final game that we played against um, England. You know, so, Brandon King will open with... Uh, Evan Lewis, right? Evan Lewis didn't have a fruitful ODI series against England. His T20 series was good, but didn't do much in the ODIs. Going to give him some more time, you know, going to give him this game to see if he can um, get things going for us. So Brandon King and Evan Lewis will open. Casey Carty will bat at number three. Um, Casey Carty also scored a century in the third and final ODI against England. I think he was 128, not out, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm sure he got a century in that game. So, Brandon King, Evan Lewis, Casey Carty. And at number three, at number four, we go Shea Hope. Captain Shea Hope. And we are wishing that hope, or we are hoping, <laughs> no pun intended, that hope will um, lead from the front. You understand? We always depend on him to bat majority of the overs in our ODI team. Um, Sheffield and Rutherford will come in at number five, right? So Rutherford will be batting at number five in this team that I have here. And, um, you know, Rutherford, then we have Reston Chase, right? Reston Chase is also there. And then we have Justin Greaves, right? Justin Greaves, as we know, somebody that can bat anywhere in, inside the top six, right? Top seven. He has proven it before. Same thing with Reston Chase. No, Justin Greaves, he just finished the Super 50, um, scoring a lot of runs as an opener. But as I said earlier, I don't want to dis disrupt my opening pair right now in this game. You know, probably after the first game, you know, we'd have to look at how, you know, what Evan Lewis did in the 
um, ODI series against England and then we look at tomorrow's game and see how we perform and then we can decide going forward right but we have seen Greaves played anywhere from the top to the middle so he will come in there right and then we have Romario Shepard after Romario Shepard we have Gudikish Moti, Azari Joseph and Jaden Seals right so that is how I am looking to do it um, right now another player that I was looking to try and bring in was Amir Jango Right, he finished the Super 50 doing extremely well. But I said it earlier, you know, I don't want to really mess up, mess with what we did in the in that ODI series. So, you know, obviously King coming off a century in the last game will play. As I said, I'm I'm trying with Lewis again. That's why I have um Justin Greaves down in the middle. Um Carty, you know, just came off a century um in the ODI series. Didn't do too well in the test series, but you know, this is different, this is a different format. So we're hoping that the fond memories of the ODI series against England will trickle over into this series, right? The guys that were involved in the test series against Bangladesh, which we, well, we drew that series. We didn't, we didn't, want to see, um, we didn't win the series. I'm hoping that, you know, they will come into the ODI team with a, a, a fresh mindset looking to secure victory in this series, right? So if we're looking at the bowling, the bowling, Jaden Seals, Alzari, Joseph, Shepard, Greaves, that's four. Um, we have Moti, five, Chase, right, six. And um, we also have Rutherford if we need some help. So Seals and Alzari, right, Seals and Alzari. Uh, we have Shepard and Greaves, that's four. Then we have the two spinners plus Rutherford. You understand? That is how I am looking to do it right now. Probably in a next game, I can go one bowler less and fit in another batsman in Django. You understand? So we, we but for now, Brandon King, Lewis, Carty, Hope, Rutherford, Chase, Greaves, Shepard, Moti, Alzari, and Seals. That feels to me like that's the plane 11 that I want to work with. But as I said, the comment section is there. You can let me know what you all think in the comment section. Another way that we could have gone would have been... um to bring uh you know leave out one of the all rounders in 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 greaves probably and bring in you know Django but I don't see why I would need to do that because Django you know and Greaves they both scored good amount of runs in the Super 50 and then you know Greaves would also provide me with some bowling you know so that is basically how I'm doing it. King Lewis Carty Hope Rutherford Chase Greaves Shepherd Moti Alzari and Seals so we have uh, two out and out spinners there and um, some seam bowlers to work with. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, remember, if you want to give your plane 11, you have other guys can work with. Marquino Minley is also in the squad. Judaya Blades is there. Amir Django is also there. So, you know, you have players there that you can, you can select from. But that is my plane 11. So when you disagree with my plane 11, don't say how I leave out such and such. Don't say how I leave out such and such. Because only 11 can play. This is the 11 that I'm work with, working with. So what you can do is, instead of asking me how I leave out such and such, just put the full 11 that should play. And I will take a look at it and see if I can tweak my team. Big up on yourself.